indescribable. I mean, you, you want to tell people, yeah, it's really cool, there's 40,000 people, but they don't even understand what that means when there's 30,000 campers, like, going back miles. They're here for the, the environment, the journey, the lifestyle of Crandon. It hasn't changed. It's still intense. It's still awesome. There's still packed hillsides and fans, like, Crandon is dope, it's legit, it's legendary. Uh, we need more places like Crandon around this planet. The starts here at Crandon are iconic. It's a straight up land rush moto style. Drop of the green flag, we all dump our clutches and, and head down through that gnarly terrain. You see us jumping and sliding. And getting into turn one, we're about 90, 95, and we all have to check up and try to put our lives together we're going through turn one. Spotter's helping you and you're just trying to stay off the walls. And if it doesn't work out in turn one, Turn two, turn three, turn 65, turn 100. We're gonna give it our all and we're gonna fight our way to the front. We did practice this morning, went really good. We were fast practice. And qualifying, we're sitting second. So not amazing, but still great. And uh, yeah, we're just gearing up for the parade for tomorrow. Got some nice shiny bodies on these trucks that look good for the fans and the people. And uh, whew, trying to process it, you know, <laughs> trying to go faster, trying to get the truck ready and um, figure out how to be on top. And at the same time, live this life of uh, Crandon weekend. It's pretty cool. We're in Crandon right now. We're downtown hanging out with the parade. My kid and the family and all these fans. Dude, it's so insane to, to just see all these diehard loving fans. It's, uh, it's a sick place to be. Thousands and thousands of people touching your truck, taking your posters, getting the signature cards done, and they're, uh, they're loving it. That's what I like about it. These, these Crandon fans care because they're just diehard. You know, you got two to three generations out here watching these races, and I'm three generations in also. So, hey, dude, we're here. This is insane to look at, to be a part of. And uh, I'm just proud to be here, dude. It's cool. Been supporting Reed all weekend. You know, he got a podium yesterday and fifth place today, coming from dead last. So we're pumped for him. He had a great year. Um, so now we're just moving on to the big truck and right to a green flag. So it's, it's exciting, but also uh, nerves are racked a little bit. We want to we want to perform here, have a good start to the weekend, get ourselves into the Cup race and the World Championship race. So a lot going through the mind right now. The truck is beyond dialed. We've touched the thing a million times in two days. So. Um, I feel like we're ready, truck's ready, track is looking prime, the weather is so good right now, so I'm, uh, I'm stoked to get out on the track and go rip. Didn't have the greatest to start, kind of bogged on that, that uh, start and uh, had a decent first lap, got in about, maybe I was in fourth maybe. Man, went to the finish line corner, it was so lonely, they just ripped the track gnarly for us. And uh, there was ended up being a spin with Henderson and Johnny, and came out of it in second, was running down Mamer, uh, had a good truck, had a good line, was staying calm behind the wheel, and he ended up getting a flat, I believe, and took him out. So I had the lead, man, it was great. Um, it was smooth, comfortable, tried to find some lines, but I was really lonely, and I was a little sketched on some of those corners. So trying to be smart for the restart, and um, you know, Andrew Carlson had, you know, had a good truck, it looked like he was running fast, and he threw it in underneath me in the gravel pit, so I just waited up there, came across him, and slingshot past him. I was like, all right, I need to get my craft together to try and get away from these guys, so. Tried to bang a couple good laps and had a good, had a good run, and uh, something in the mechanism for the shifter. Malfunction, on upshifts, it, it, it wouldn't shift, so I was able to get it at least into a gear that would get me around the track, but uh, we had no chance to fight for a win, so. Really uh, capped off my damn season <laughs> with a crappy race. So pretty bummed on that, but uh, you know, we fought our, our hardest and it wasn't enough this year. So pretty bummed, uh, you know, congrats to everyone else that had great years, but we, uh, we did not. So won some races, but not the big chill. Pretty bummed. After, man, after a devastating race like that, it's tough to uh, keep the team and yourself and everybody up on top of the, the hype game, but we're, uh, 
we're fighters, man. We've taken some big blows this year and come right back to another another win. So we've got some cups to win tomorrow. I haven't been a world champion in a while, so I'm ready to do some damage out there, try to bring home a trophy in Pro 4, and uh, a cup race, man. It's been eight years since I've won one, so that's way too damn long. So I need to uh, do a little redemption here and, and get my head down, dig hard. We're gonna run the chrome body for the big show, so I just wanna have a good Saturday, mo Sunday morning race, get out front, go around turn one, nice chrome body, hauling ass, and uh, try to take it to the front, put all those pro twos behind me and try to win some cash, so all or nothing, dude. Here we go. Morning. The World Championship race was going great. Um, had a great start with CJ. We're running up front and had a big issue, got off track and uh, had to get myself back together and got back on the track, started working on some guys, making some passes up to the halfway and had a rear failure in my, uh, my rear suspension. So um, something internal on one of my shocks, something we should have fixed a long time ago, but um, took us out of the race sadly, which is going to give us kind of a crummy start spot, but we kind of have a plan coming up for that start. So. Yeah, the cup race is something that's been around here for decades. Um, I won it back in 09, I've won it in 14. We've won it a couple times, and what it is is they send the Pro 2s ahead of us, um, and we basically have to chase them down. <laughs> so it's uh, it's definitely definitely a fight within ourselves in the Pro 4 category, but the end goal is to creep up on those Pro 2s. And uh, it gets gnarly, dude, with the, the amount of Pro 2s, some of the slower guys or some of the mid-pack guys that are in their own three, four car battles, we gotta try to slide in there. and. and that shit gets crazy. So um, I live and breathe for that kind of stuff, and those moments are what uh, what I look forward to in this race. It's just take some risk, throw this car in there where it's not supposed to be, make some great passes, try to keep it smooth, try to keep the wheels inflated, and uh, try to get to the front, man. It's a knockout drag down battle. Yeah, I mean, it was a, a nightmare of a weekend. We were fast, we had pace, but just uh, could not put it together to save my life. So um, we got out of here with some good fans, a lot of good times, but just bad times on the racetrack. So it's uh, a huge bummer. It's going to be a long winter, but we had some wins in the car, had some speed in the car, and uh, the team worked our tails off to do it. So try to keep our chins up, but ah, losing sucks. On to the next. See ya.